Rebecca. Um, I currently work for Gippsland Disability Advocacy, um, organising peer-led support groups for people around Gippsland. Um, but I was also a carer in the last couple of years for my daughter who um, was diagnosed with a chronic neurological disorder. After she was first diagnosed, she was sort of stuck in bed for six months, um, which was a real challenge, I guess. So I, I've had a bit of practice and experience, not just um, working with carers in professional role, but also being a carer myself. I grew up in a family um, that was really prepared, I guess, in that we were always ready for emergencies. You know, I lived on a farm as a teenager. My dad had grown up on a farm with the fire, local fire brigade shed right outside the gate. Um, I was involved with the um, Bowering Up West Fire Brigade as their secretary for a couple of years in my late teens. And we were just always ready. Like we knew very well the impact of fire, I guess. Um, my dad as a coach driver when I was in primary school was involved with driving down to the Ash Wednesday bushfires to evacuate families out of there. We lived across the road from the bush. We were always ready. We always had supplies in our car. We always had blankets and water. And um, I guess that sort of flowed onto the rest of my life. And now where we live, even though we live in town, we have a lot of bush around us and reserves over the road. That means that we're still ready for anything, I guess. <laughs> Plans are compounded when you're a carer. So you're not just thinking of everyday things like feeding your family or making sure they've got clean clothes to wear. You're also thinking of things like medications, mobility, any aids that the person you're caring for needs. Um, there's just so much more to consider. Um, for my daughter, it was really hard in bushfire season anyway without fires around us um, because she couldn't cope with extreme heat. So I guess when there's fire warnings and, and things out, everyone gets prepared. And often people do that in a hurry at the last minute. And for people without those extra challenges of disability, you know, they can probably swing it sometimes by doing that. But for someone with disability or, or someone who's elderly or people caring for them, it, everything just takes longer. Not even just the planning and preparation, but also the actual evacuating. It, it's a much bigger event if that's what you need to do. Um, I just think it's really important people are organised and prepared and know what they need to do. So if the time comes where they do have to evacuate, they're aware of what needs to happen instead of being alarmed about what is happening and they've got plans in place to alleviate some of that stress. Um, I wish it had have been around when I was being in that carer role, honestly, because even though I had that background knowledge and could sort of I guess related and extend it to being a carer in our situation, it was a real challenge. And I think the way the module works is just, it's so simple to follow. It gives you really practical advice of what to think about. Um, everyone's circumstances are obviously different. So it doesn't give the detailed advice specifically for you, but it tells you the areas that you need to talk with the person you're caring about yourself or perhaps talk to the, their health professionals or other service providers that are working with them um, so that you can get plans in place to set everyone's minds at ease.